And I'm Alvin the Cones. That's right. Whoa. You know, I once remembered that I thought there were monsters under my bed. Well, Jimmy, I had a big misunderstanding. That wasn't a monster under my bed at all. Only my squishy rabbit slippers when I was a baby cone. It was not th that scary, just kind of fluffy. Okay, then. Let's watch. Oh, I told you I'm not good at this. Well, it's not a sad thing. It's a sad Hey, guys. What they need? What? Yeah, so fear not. Santa Claus will come right down the chimney, eat all the cookies, deliver bread, presents, and cheer you up from all the way to the ball. Oh, right. That was supposed to be saved till Christmas. No, Jimmy, not a pretty bit. Oh, a little bit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes, see ya. Look, Charlie, you're not afraid because that's why. So, me and Jimmy would need to move. Jimmy, you better sing the song. So what you gonna do? Exactly. Well, technically, compared to, to the Lord, it, he would look like not a teeny little cornflake, but a little puddle of water. Hey, what is that? God, God make all those stars on the nothing. He just went, and then do 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 And guess what? They would do it. Wow. You gotta admit, Ryan Dunn Jimmy is a pretty good actor. Mm-hmm. Not only did he make all those things that Jimmy mentioned, but he made all the plans, the animal, and don't forget the people too. Oh, and by the way, there's someone else who wants to meet you. Technically, it's the actor who pl who played Frankenhead. Your name, sir? Uh, I thought your name was Phil Wrinklestein, and you're an actor from Toledo. Everybody there! He's so cute when he's asleep. Come on, not interfering? Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to relax. Let's just pull up a chair as I, Alvin the Cone, proudly presents the Baby Kangaroo song. Uh, singing the first Goofy song? I, I, I. Can we just end this song already? <laughs> <laughs> okay, which one of you guys is King Darius? Okay, allow me to introduce myself. So, King Darius, that is what your dream means. Hold on. Did you say trouble? Okay, I have to disagree with you on that. What trouble can come bursting through that door in this hour? Uh, can I help you with something, fellas? <laughs> so you guys are wise now. Hold it. Uh, do you always have to be wise, or did you want the school for that? Okay, this is getting awkward. Hey, I can see my house from here. No way, that's a mountain top. Hey, someone explain to me why I'm here. I'm a gossip with this. No! so creepy down here. A little musky and filthy, but not so creepy. Nice kitties. Good kitties. Oh no, what am I gonna do? It looks like I'm gonna end up in a lion stew. Huh, right. Hello? Hello? Oh yeah, get there is. I'll be right up. First I gotta say goodbye to my new friends. Well, hello, everybody. Well, bye, Larry. Bye, Curly. Bye, Bo. Oh, and thanks for the pizza. Why, thank you, Jimmy. It was my finest hour. Ahem. <clears throat> we gotta wrap up the show first. Yep. And in the Bible, Daniel learned that the Lord was taking care of him. Even down there with those big, scary lions. Actually, it's the stuff you need for me, Lo. That's a good idea, Jimmy. Or Sam. Mm, bye. And I'm having the count. Yep. Yeah, Jimmy. Oh, Colin Kavanaugh. Now that is amazing. Mmm. Mm. Very interesting question. Mmm. Darn, I almost had an idea. Oh, wait, now I remember. I'll tell Colin the story of the Squares of Wrath. Once upon a time, there was some very cranky squares. Um, yes, it's like the Greg's a rap, but an erotic twist? Please do not interrupt. Thank you.
Once upon a time, there was some very cranky squares. Yep, pretty much. So anyway, one day, the squares were driving around in their car when suddenly they hit a stump. Oh, hey, hey! Uh, I just said that. Hello? Jimmy, that was just it. They didn't know how bad it made Charlie felt. But luckily, Charlie's dad heard him laughing and came out back to see what's all the commotion out here. Oh, but cry out loud! I just said that! I'm right there, you know! Okay, actually, you can't see me, but I'm right up top! Not anything! <laughs> so, Charlie's dad, which is that smiley, explained to the squares of when we make fun of people, it makes us feel very, very bad as well. He also told them that when we hurt other kids, it not only hurts their feelings, but it hurts their noise feelings too. Oh, this is where it gets to the good part. So, Charlie's dad, which is dad smiling yet again, explained to Charlie that when we, we apologize, like saying we're sorry, and we really, really mean it, we have to accept other people's apologies. So that way we'll all feel better inside. Oh boy, this is the part where Charlie gets really sensitive. That's right, the squares were really, really sad this time. And so once again, Charlie accepts their apology. The story comes to life in many ways. I don't care. Charlie, if you think of this, I say, once again, Charlie accepts their apology. I think so. Hey, Jimmy, am I serious? Oh, yes, see? Uh, yes. Okay, Thomas and Riddle Square. Are you guys really sorry this time? Wait! You see, Charlie, when we do bad things, it hurts the Lord's feelings too. The Lord wants us to accept other people's apologies. Or in this case, say we're sorry. And according to the Bible, if we tell God we're sorry, he'll always forgive us. No matter what. Well, according to that, Jimmy, did you know this one? Maybe, uh, seven times? Do you know what 17 times 7 is? No, not really. According to people know, do, do you know? Okay, we're gonna need some help. Did you have to ask Big World the one who created us? Gee, Jimbo, maybe you could just ask the people in the story? You're welcome. Well, yeah, my daddy. We're in the ninth time. No, that's not the Thomas. That's Jimmy!
the right mistake. Three, carry on. Hey, Jimmy, you look great, ain't you? Wait a minute. The legs with a mighty tail and mighty skipper brave and sure. Ah, yes. A three-hour tour. Sorry, first of all, and the two yours truly's worst beer. Yes. Oh, uh, don't forget his wife. Ah, uh, wait, you mean Tina Triangle and Marianne Circle. Yeah, they could have, they should have come, but they canceled. Remember? And like I say, we did a really good job if I do this for myself. What they do is very dangerous. Oh. That is very nice. Super nice. Relax. I totally got this. Don't worry about it. Oh boy. Now this is a life. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, I'd rather be the first mate out of Well, nothing that is. It's Colorful Captain Alvin Mackerel, world's famous blushing ice black a pilot. Today, Captain Alvin has three dolphins. As you can see, two great dolphins trump the ice. Ah, there is really big problem. With lots of icebergs stuck with Captain Alvin and dolphins, there might not be time to go around it. For surely, Captain Alvin is not blaming up to smash through the iceberg. No one has ever done such a thing. This is no time for cowards like a cowardly liar! Captain Alvin must fight the iceberg and free the dolphins! Ah! the Jimbo has come to congratulate Captain Alvin to the Uh, not now, Jimmy. There's a bit of smash Jimmy's iceberg and freeze the wait. Yeah? Who will you call that? Wait, what? Um... Yes? What? Just happened. <clears throat> Okay, as you can see, they were two dolphins, stuck in the ice, and the only way to get them out was to smash right through that iceberg over there. And sadly, it turned out to be a lot. And here's a fun fact, rocks are not harder than icebergs. Uh, maybe it was because I daydreamed even though Jimmy didn't tell me to? Well, I was bored! I, I, I lost my head! Okay, I apologize. I really apologize. But hey, the bright side, the bonus are floated. That's Alvin 1, others 0. Okay, take back everything I said. Others 1, Alvin 0. Hey, Wiz, it's kind of nice out here. Hey, Jimmy, maybe this won't be so bad after all. Okay. 
Yep. And we know how to make stuff with bamboo. You can make a bamboo bat. A bamboo cat. A bamboo cat. Bamboo. Helicopter. Bamboo. 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 Yes. And wrong by these, we learn we can accept others' apologies. And when we accept their apologies, we all feel better. Now you did it. Or in this case, forgive others. The Lord made you special and he loves you very much. Bamboo, I need five.